What's up guys, it's your boy Anime Boom and I am back for another video and man, the Fantastic Four just recently got announced. We got Joseph Quinn, we got uh the guy from everything, he does everything, he was in Wonder Woman, he was in Pedro Pascal, his name is Pedro Pascal, you got the girl from Hobbs and Shaw, I've seen that movie and uh the the thing i don't really know any i don't know who uh playing him but we got the cast of, for the fantastic four and uh man i'm gonna be honest with you i don't care about the fantastic four i don't care about the fantastic four the casting man joseph quinn is my boy man you don't know how much of an impact he had on stranger things he killed it he did his thing i have a freaking uh uh damn i forgot what it's called the Hellfire Club shirt. I have a Hellfire sh Club shirt in my closet because how much of a, how great of a character he was. He was so great. So I'm happy for him for sure. So I'm going to see the movie because I'm happy for him and his success. And, but, 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 uh, Pedro, ba Pedro Pascal, I don't, he wasn't good at Wonder Woman. That's the thing that kind of gets me mad about him. He was, I hated his character in Wonder Woman. And I didn't see The Last of Us. I'm, I don't, I'm not watching that. I know he's in, uh, was a Mandalorian, but I never watched that either. So I'm really only seeing him in Wonder Woman. So that's kind of a bad look. Just for me seeing him in Wonder Woman. Maybe he's good in that other stuff, but I don't really know him. And, uh, Girl from Hobbs and Shaw. She kind of looks like a lot of these other actors. So... I, 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 I don't really know much about her besides she's in Hops and Shaw, but I feel like they kind of, she just kind of looks like a lot of, uh, like, actors in the acting space, so she kind of, she doesn't really stand out, but the thing, uh, yeah, I don't know nothing about him either, but let's just get into why I don't like the Fantastic Four, really. Cool casting, they look like the act of Fantastic Four, but I really don't know anything about the Fantastic Four, I don't care about them. Those first movies that came out a long time ago, was it 2004 and 2007 or something? I have a group of, it's a group I have for movies that people just don't care about. It's called, or TV shows, it's called the Ben 10 Club. Ben 10 as a kid. If you were a kid, you probably know what I'm saying. You, a lot of people act like they love Ben 10, but the truth is, as a kid, just because it's a realistic style, people doubt would say they like Ben 10. But I remember as a kid, man, bro, when Ben 10, whenever that was on, I skipped to SpongeBob or something. I skipped to Amazing World of Gumball. I skipped to uh, Adventure Time, regular shows, the kid shows, Uncle Grandpa. I didn't watch no serious Ben 10. It was boring. It was boring. And... I think this kind of goes with the Fantastic Four. I don't know what this random love has come from with the Fantastic Four, but as kids of our like generation or whatever in the last generations, nobody was going to see that. I'm sorry. It's just the truth. Nobody was going to see that. We was not on that. Nobody was watching it. And we preferred to watch Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man. I preferred to watch Spider-Man over the boring Fantastic Four. And then... Those, the movie, the, the original movie, uh, for sure I wasn't watching that. It looks boring. The leads look boring. It's just boring people. They look like boring people. I'm sorry. And the thing just looks like a, he's the only hooking thing about the, the, that group, but he's just a boring big guy. And I think uh, uh, the Hawk is what I'm expecting from this character. And I, as a kid, that's how I looked at it. I, I'm okay. I'm probably I would be okay with him not just being a smart character, but the Hawk is what I'm expecting from a big creature like that, and that's what I always thought he was. But I don't know anything about this character. He's just just kind of a big blob thing. And then you got the 2015 movies. The 2015 movies. Uh, 2015 movie. Nobody seen that either. They just look bland. I don't care about this group of friends or whatever, I don't, they look silly, they, I don't know anything about their backstory, Dr. Doom looks cool, I'll say that, he looks cool, and I don't know what Silver Surfer's connection is to them, but he looks cool, and Galactus looks cool, and all that stuff, but I, I just don't know anything about this group, I, I, I just think, I, and a lot of people just think they're boring, I think that's a big flaw with them, that's why I don't care, so, seeing them now in 2023, they're trying again with this group of 
characters. I think a lot of people aren't being honest. I'm just not ready for it. And I just, I, I can't explain why really perfectly, but to me, they just look boring. And that's why people don't care about the Fantastic Four. That's why their movies always flop. And I will maybe not go see this movie. When I start seeing trailers and stuff, I'm really not going to see this movie. I, when we, for, for some reason, when we hear these movies are coming out uh, a couple years ahead, it's kind of a little bit hooking. But then when you get closer to the release date and you start seeing like multiple trailers, you just stop caring because you've seen everything. It'd be like, okay, well, this is kind of pointless. Why well, see this movie? So. Yeah, I, I I just don't really care for Fantastic Four. I will say this, though. MCU. The MCU has done a great job getting us attached to characters that you didn't know nothing about. And concepts, they got us familiar with certain concepts and stuff. Like, Doctor Strange is a cool example. Doctor Strange was kind of a no-name, but now he's kind of, like, legendary. He's cool and Thor, and Iron Man, they, they got Ant-Man, these are characters that they really did a good job bringing us into their stories and stuff, it was always interesting, man, they did a really good job, but MCU recently, I don't know, man, they've been slacking, all the origin stories feel the same, and bland, and it is, it, they all been feeling the same recently, so they gotta figure out a way to make this different, change the quality, change the CGI, make it feel high budget. If this is in the 60s, you better get that 60s feeling from that movie. I better get that 60s feeling. Make the setting perfectly, man. I don't know when's the last time they had uh, something like the Captain America like 1940s look on point. They it's it's been a minute since they were able to make a uh, a different time period feel like that. They kind of did it in WandaVision. That was a cool example of them being creative. But people kind of overrated. WandaVision kind of sucks a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It, okay, it don't kind of suck. It really is bad. But the first, they act like the art was cool and stuff. They really, that first that two episodes, they like stayed in the house the whole episode. It was really boring. But Fantastic Four, back to this though. Get the 60s look down. Find a way to make these characters interesting. Joseph Quinn's in it. So I'm already like, let's go. That's, that's already a good pick, man. I don't know if he can... Uh, act outside of Stranger Things, because I haven't seen him in anything else, but I'm going to put my faith in him, man, he was just so good as Eddie, he carried, man, he he carried Stranger Things season four, and people was just so sad when he died, he did his thing, I really think he's going to be a standout in this this movie, so that's going to be cool, Fantastic Four, I'm going to give you a chance, I'm probably going to go see Superman <laughs> instead, maybe, might go see Superman instead, because I like Superman. I think Superman is cool. Kind of boring, but I like the concept of Superman. I think that's more interesting than guys wearing suits and they got a big monster thing. The thing just, to me, seems like a cash grab. It's like they trying to find something to hook you in, but it really ain't that interesting. He looks like, oh my gosh, what is? why is he a rock, an orange rock? But they actually don't have nothing interesting for him. He ain't Hawk level interesting. He is just bland. So, just tell me how y'all feel about the Fantastic Four. Be honest, too. Because a lot of y'all be just not acting like the Fantastic Four is the coolest thing. I just don't like phonies pretending that. Because everybody hates the Fantastic Four. And they're like, they've been losers for years. And nobody's watched their movies. Now y'all want to see this this random love for the Fantastic Four. I sort of don't like it. Y'all did the same thing with Andrew Garfield. Those Andrew made Spider-Man movies were not liked at all. And I've come to the conclusion, even like the Emma Stone relationship and Andrew Garfield, that that relationship is really boring. Like, where was the storyline going to go? It seemed like y'all pretend y'all like certain stuff. You just got to think about what I'm saying. The Emma Stone, Andrew Garfield relationship... I think y'all don't mean it, but the uh the Mary Jane relationship with Tom McGuire was better because y'all still talk about that. Y'all still make fun of Mary Jane. Y'all always bringing her up and stuff like that. That means she had y'all hooked in the storyline. But Emma Stone, it's like since he died, y'all know y'all ain't getting no more of those terrible storylines. Now y'all want to say, oh, she was great and stuff. And then she was good in Spider-Verse. But I'm going on a whole different rant. Tell me how y'all feel about the Fantastic Four, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Anime Boom, my peace.